Howdy, Beautiful Bard here, and this is the alpha to my Steel Challenge map. Or I should say mission. Since it is alpha right now, all I have is the, uh, the basic NATO boxes, just in a couple different configurations. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select a couple weapons. Going to take the light machine gun. It's probably not going to be the most accurate for uh, shooting in a competition, but it's got a good ammo capacity with 100 rounds, plus I want to use the tracers with it, so you can actually see the rounds going down range for the longer range targets. And of course, you got to take the uh, the FN pistol. How can you have a competition pistol with, uh, without using 45? So the, the reason for the map, or the mission I should say, is for plinking, screwing around, testing out different weapons. However, it'll also come in handy since I do have it set up for eight players for a multiplayer to where you can get on with up to seven other friends and have a shooting competition. There's multiple lanes set up, there's uh, steel plates set up at different ranges for different styles of shooting from close range handgun to long range rifle. Some are suitable for submachine guns, uh, some are just suitable for pistols, short, medium, and long range for pistol, uh, rapid fire steel plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the kneeling course, which is on the right hand side in this section. And there's two different shooting lanes, so you can go head to head against somebody. And it's best to use for the pistol. See here, just for the giggles, I've got the sounds wrong. Now, what I would suggest doing, if you want a simple method of having a quick competition, is you start off five targets, bang, 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 shoot all five, and then transition over to the next position. Make a mandatory reload, whatever you want to. So then you've got the medium range. So now you've got to actually slow down a little bit and aim your targets a little bit better. You can mix up the patterns, say, shoot left to right, then follow up with a middle target. You can make up your own rules as you go along. Now, before you say, there's no way you need to be shooting at a target this long range with a handgun with open sights. Well, count the shots, count the hits. It is possible. As you can see, the targets are falling. And no, I don't have anybody cheating, hiding behind me with a sniper rifle. This is pure legit. You can use any of the targets you want for your own personal competitions, or you can skip targets, or say we're only going to use a short range for handgun, run over to the prone uh, rapid fire, and then run to the long range, or just make up the rules as you go along, and have your own fun. You know, once you complete your long range handgun, it's a nice little temporary setup. You run up, drop to the prone position, switch to a carbine, switch to a rifle, Keep shooting the handgun, whatever you want. Now, as you heard, there was a glitch in the sound, so the weapon is glitched. You can see my crosshairs are on the target, but they're completely missing. That's game, that's not me. So now to run over here real quick and take a look at the uh, long range section of the course. if there's any background noise because it's raining outside. Might be a little noisy. Alright, I've added in some bonus targets. These are just examples of what the bonus targets look like. They are clay pigeons that are attached to a stick. And as you see, once you shoot them, the clay pigeons explode, and that's it. They don't reset. So that would be like a, a tie-breaking challenge or something of that nature. Now we'll start off with the short-range steel plates. Easy enough. Five targets, side by side. Then the medium range. Also pretty easy if you take your time, place your shots. 
Now, long range, the announcer could say shooter engage red or shooter engage blue, and there are five steel plates on in between of the the smoke for each side. It does help to make sure you have your scope set correctly. And if you don't take your time, you will miss. Thankfully, I'm not competing this time. Shots are kind of embarrassing. Alright, quick change over our weapons and uh, show you what the, uh, the bonus targets look like. There are the clay pigeons on a stick, and I won't tell you the range, uh, but I did change weapons here. That LMG was just not quite doing the trick. But you can see whenever you hit your target, at least. And you can see when you miss. I'll add some more guns in later, or maybe a crate that has all the guns, all the scopes, all the accessories, all the, the knickknacks. But thanks for watching. It right now is on the Steam Workshop, so uh, take a peek. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks.